So what's the, share with us the story. How is it that you moved into this world of private money and using private money? Well, I've been basically raising money most of my career. Uh, it all started when I was in my twenties. I was a college student. I was studying architecture and I wanted to use the architectural skills, Jay, to become a real estate developer. And while I was in my senior year, uh, architecture is a five year degree program. So while I was in my fourth year, I opened the newspaper looking for a job and I responded to an ad to go to work for a small oil company. And the CEO took a liking to me. He said, Brad, you're a real smart kid. You think quickly. We'd like to give you a job where you're going to get on the telephone. We're going to give you a list of high net worth accredited investors to reach out to. And your job is to basically build trust, build a relationship with these people and convert them to investors. And so working 12 to 15 hours a week between class and after school, I would go in, I'd get on the phone and I became real proficient and real good at this. I mean, working 12 to 15 hour weeks as a 21 year old, I was making close to $100,000. And so after a year, Jay, I went to work for another small oil company doing exactly the same thing. But lo and behold, let's just say that the ethical standards of the CEO didn't match my own. Turned out they were committing fraud. And so I immediately resigned. All the investors looked at me and said, well, Brad, what are you going to do now that you're no longer working with this group? And I saw a huge opportunity. And with about $10,000 in savings, I launched an oil company. I had never drilled an oil well. I was 23 years old at the time. And all I knew how to do was pick up the phone and raise capital. And so what I was able to do is build a team around me of geologists, legal team, accounting. And we built that into an oil company over the course of 10 years with 35 employees raising millions of dollars a month. And that's really what started my journey of raising capital and using other people's money to build my business. And then in the late 80s, due to the Tax Reform Act and collapsing prices, we closed the doors, we sold off some assets, took a year off. And then that's largely when I went back to school and came out and professionally started raising money for other people and consulting other people on how to attract and how to close private capital. 